Hello everyone, I am finally doing my room makeover reveal and I know for the most part if you've seen my videos before or you have just been to my house you've seen my room tour I mean my room makeover like a long long time ago but I'm finally showing you guys because pretty soon I'm gonna be replacing some things in here and it's not gonna look the same or I think it's not gonna look the same so I wanted to show you guys before that happened okay but anyways I redid my room like in the beginning of the pandemic so that like probably like March, April I finished the makeover almost like six months ago to be honest and then I filmed it, edited it, edited it, edited it that sounds so weird edited it and then I uploaded it and then I deleted it and then I was like no I don't want to do this but then I'm gonna do it because there's new things coming and I want to show you guys anyways take you along for the journey you know if you've seen my room before, you know it was like blue, like bright blue and I had like all of that like old style Victorian furniture that you buy when you're like 13 and think it's like the coolest shit ever but I sold everything. I actually finished selling the bed like last week so I officially sold everything. That process took like almost two years but that's another story. I'll show you guys everything and this is all recorded a while ago and then after I'll show you guys what it looks like right now and the things that I have changed. So without further ado, I forgot to record the before of my room when it was blue. So as you see here, it's with my new desk, but it basically looked the same. There was just one giant desk there. Okay guys, um, really quick, today is April 6th and I've been selling my furniture, which I'll probably just elaborate more, but as for reference for myself, I took a picture, I'm selling all of my furniture on Apartment Deco and I've actually put it up like almost like five months ago I would say and finally someone's buying my desk and I'm trying to sell everything so I can get new furniture so I'm selling the desk so I'm gonna clean it out and I'm gonna show you guys <laughs> state of my desk area i just moved that little side table over here put all of my desk stuff where it was and i put most of it in that cabinet i'm trying to order a new cabinet but with the coronavirus stuff it's just kind of hard to order things online but i did order a desk later okay this is what whoa there's like a pink color coming out but all of the furniture is furniture is out i taped all of the sides here and i put this giant tarp thing so the paint doesn't get on it and i took most of those out but the ones that didn't come out i just taped around and i didn't tape like all of that because my room like when I painted it blue, they didn't even do it with the tape, so it kind of has blue on it. So I'd rather have more white on it than blue, if that made any sense. But here's what it looks like so far. And I actually tried like sanding all this stuff and like filling it in, but 
don't know, it doesn't do a good job. It feels flat though, so I think that's gonna be fine. And then the little one right there. But I'm going to start. The last clip you saw of me was painting that one wall, but it's not complete yet. I still have to do another coat of paint, but what I did, I did two coats of primer, which I did very meticulously, which I feel like I didn't really have to do, but it was so blue in here. I wanted to make sure. Since my friend helped me out, I could not have done it without her, but I started at 12, like prepping everything, and I think I started painting around one, but it's already midnight now and I'll show you guys what I got done. It looks so weird. I'm like so used to seeing it blue. Like it looks really weird and you can still see like little uneven marks and a little bit of the blue like there. Oh, you can see it really badly on camera actually. In person, it doesn't look as bad, but clearly there is still a lot of touching up to do. But I'm not done with this can yet. I have another one, so I'm gonna do as many coats as I need to, but this is what it looks like so far. We'll continue on day two. Um, I have stuff all over my face and like my hands and my shirt. And it's like all over the floor too, but that's it for day one. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try to finish all this tomorrow morning so I can start bringing all my furniture back in and clean everything. Okay, bye. Okay, guys, it's the next day. It's like five, what time is it actually? It's 5.26 and I just finished the last and second coat of my room. It's looking a lot better. I think there's still some like splotchy parts, but it's not that noticeable anymore. And I think when it dries, it'll be a lot better. But the only thing is like, the ceiling, I did not put any tape there, which you could obviously very visibly see, which I wish I did, but it's kind of already damage done. And I like thought the primer, which was white, when it hit the ceiling, when it was wet, it like blended in. So I was like, this is fine. That's okay. But then obviously it's not okay. You could see the whole entire line, like throughout the whole room. It's whatever. Um, I'm tired. I, I don't think painting is supposed to take this long. I just, I'm just never done it on my own, so this is why. Or maybe it does take long, I don't know. I, I looked it up to see how much an average time painting takes, and it's at two hours, but it's been like 14 hours plus, but I am finally done. I'm gonna let this dry, and then move everything back in, and I will show you guys the process. Maybe I'll just touch everything up, but that's it. Okay guys, so I didn't do the best job recording everything that I sold and whatnot. Um, obviously, as you saw, I ended up moving all of my old furniture out and replacing it with new furniture. I did not show the process of putting everything back in my room. I just kind of showed you guys the final result. I was just so busy trying to get everything organized and put together that I just didn't even think about filming it. And I wish I did just so we can see the entire process, but I'll show you where everything is from just so you guys can, if you want the furniture, if you want something similar, I'll try to link all of those below. But without further ado, here is my new room.
Okay, so there are some things that are a little bit outdated in that video I did. I don't even know if I like the editing anymore, but it is what it is. But I will show you guys what my room looks like now. All right. So some things that have changed. This is pretty much the same right here. It's so bright. I changed this around a little bit right here. I put the chair here and got a new chair, which actually this is my third chair um, here. I originally had that one and then I had another chair, but then I got another chair because that was uncomfortable. And honestly, this chair is pretty uncomfortable, but oh, this desk is new. I swapped up the desk because the other one was so tiny. Got this monitor. I have a little booty plant right there. The monitor I got. Oh, this whole top here is different. I got this little um, marble tray and I just put a bunch of random things. And then I don't know what these things are called, but I got this little thing from Goodwill. Put some pictures up, the candle, the picture still the same. Have a little candle and then I put the setup over here. So I got new plants. So this is one of the plants from before. It grew so big, I had to repot it like five times. And all of the pink on it is gone, which I'm kind of sad about, but it's okay. And then this plant Mary gave me a while ago, and it grew a whole new leaf in the time that it was given to me. I have this little red one from Christmas time. The two pictures are the same. I added that guy too, and I got this little mirror. These are my... Can you see me? <laughs> I got this little mirror from the Goodwill for like five bucks, I think. And I kind of want to like switch this up and hang some of those picture frames, but that's a later problem. Up here, I changed the plants, got more cute pots. Um, these are dying flowers that I need to replace, but I have this little pot too that I got for Christmas, but I'm, I don't know what flower to put in yet. And yeah, and I got, these are the pots that I've made before if you saw my vlog. I don't know what to do with them, but I'm leaving them there for now. So basically I'm going to be swapping out this table for a standing table and then kind of I think I'm going to put it into that wall and then hang this mirror on a wall somewhere. I want to like get rid of this whole situation. I feel like the mirror takes up too much space. I don't want to take those hats down and put like a picture there. But and that is the complete updated version of my room makeover. It's probably going to be constantly being made over, but I will show you guys as I do things. But this is what it is for now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye!